Good morning. And we offer this Mass in the glory and praise of Almighty God. We meet in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we meet, we recall our sins and we seek our Heavenly Father's forgiveness. Almighty God, our Amen. Heavenly Father, we, we have sinned against you and against, and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore for you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us, you take away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of good will. Let us pray. O oh God, we beseech you mercifully to hear the prayers of your people who call upon you, and grant that they may both perceive and know what things they ought to do, and also may have grace and power faithfully to fulfil them, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. Job, chapter 9, verses 1 to 12 and 14 to 15. 
Then Job answered, Indeed, I know that this is so, that how can a mortal be just before God? If one wished to contend with him, one could not answer him once in a thousand. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has resisted him and succeeded? He who removes mountains and they do not know it, when he overturns them in his anger. Who shakes the earth out of its place and its pillars tremble. Who commands the sun and it does not rise. Who seals up the stars. Who alone stretched out the heavens and trampled the waves of the sea. Who made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the chambers of the south. Who does great things beyond understanding and marvellous things without number. Look, he passes by me, and I do not see him. He moves on, but I do not perceive him. He snatches away. Who can stop him? Who will say to him, what are you doing? How then can I answer him, choosing my words with him? Though I am innocent, I cannot answer him. I must appeal for mercy to my accuser. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, I cry out to you, O Lord, and my prayer shall come before you. I cry out to you, O Lord, Lord, and my prayer shall shall come come before before you. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before you. Let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry. I I cry cry to you, you, O Lord, Lord, and and my my prayer prayer shall shall come come before you. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. I I cry cry out to you, O Lord, Lord, and and my prayer prayer shall come before you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Holy Gospel according to St Luke. Glory to to you, you, O Lord. Lord. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, let the dead bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Another said, I will follow you, Lord. But let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, no one who puts a hand to the plough and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, you, O O Christ. Christ. No one said it was going to be easy, this following Jesus. And as the Lord travels towards Jerusalem along the road, he encounters three would-be followers. The first man says to him, Lord, I'm willing to follow you wherever you go. But Jesus tells him, foxes have holes and birds have their nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. To another, Jesus said, follow me. And the man said, I'll come along, but first of all, I need to go and bury my father. And then Jesus says this strange thing. Let the dead bury the dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Now, it's likely that the father wasn't at that point actually dead. 
And what the man was asking was to be allowed to go back to his home and stay with him for the rest of his life so that he could obey the law and arrange the funeral and arrange for the burial. And perhaps the dead that Jesus was referring to were those spiritually dead who had already rejected the call to follow. Be that as it may, Jesus comes across as pretty hard. But what did he expect? Wanting to bury your dad, saying goodbye to family and friends, seemed reasonable enough, even responsible things to do. But on this occasion, Jesus would have none of it. And he made it quite clear what is the cost of following him. We too, in our day, must face the cost of discipleship. Our journey with Jesus is not an easy one. Signing up with him means everything else becomes secondary to serving the kingdom of God, to sharing the gospel. Following will cost us. He tells us that we will be less secure than foxes and birds. Jesus is letting his followers know the urgency of the kingdom of God. The kingdom's call is more urgent than anything else. And the reason we find today's gospel difficult is that family and friends are important. Of course they are. They're the most important things in the world in human terms. But by saying that they are secondary to the kingdom, Jesus is telling us that God's affairs take priority over human affairs, no matter how important those human affairs may be. God always comes first. That's hard, but that is what we are called to. And now, let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray in faith. Hear us now, O Lord, as we come to you as disciples of the Lord. And pour upon us your Holy Spirit. Grant us grace that we may be faithful to our calling. We pray for your church that you will give faith to the doubting, hope to the tempted, and love to the fearful. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. We appeal to you on behalf of our nation, that you will give prudence to our leaders, temperance to the powerful, and justice to us all. We pray that during these difficult times of pandemic, our leaders may take wise decisions. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. We pray for ourselves and for our homes, that we may keep faith with the faithless, give hope to the hopeless, and love the unlovely and unloved. We give thanks for our families, O oh Lord, and pray that together with them we may follow you and proclaim the kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. We implore you to have pity upon the suffering, that you will give fortitude to the dying, the oppressed and the imprisoned, and all who are in danger. We give thanks for those who care for others, especially those who work in residential homes and care homes everywhere, those who work in the National Health Service, and those who care in the community. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord, graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. We pray for the departed, 
that you will see in them the face of your beloved Son. We especially remember those whom we love but see no longer, those who worship you still but upon another shore. And as we think of those dear to us who have parted, we give thanks for their lives and for their love. Merciful Father, accept, accept these, these prayers for, for the, the sake, sake of your Son, Son our, our Saviour, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. God is love, and those who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. And the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at these hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a people for your own possession. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me.
Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Except through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in heaven and earth. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in Amen. heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we, we are, are many, many we, we are, are one body, body because we, we all share, share in one bread. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the body of Christ. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. But, but only say the, the word, word I, I shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have taught us through your Son that love is the fulfilling of the law. Grant that we may love you with our whole heart and our neighbours as ourselves. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Mass is over.
go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.